Hey everybody, and welcome back to FTL Multiverse. We're up to 1.6.3 now, so it's a new version, new ships. And before I jump into new ships, I have to talk about Slug Pleasure Barge. It's been nerfed, and I'm I'm sad. <laughs> it, it's sort of been nerfed. One, they nerfed how much pleasure was there. There's no more pleasure, it's just private quarters. It does the same thing, but it's not as pleasurable, I guess. And Slug Repair Gel has been nerfed into the ground. It's 1 to 2 health instead of 5 every single time, I believe. So, uh, no more no more coasting on the love dart. We do have new ships, though. We have a C version, which is a little weaker. But it's full of ghosts. They've got, they've got a haunted pleasure pod. The haunted quarters, which allows you to reconstruct ghosts. Or also heal your ghosts. We will not be doing uh, the necro... <laughs> Necrophile. <laughs> we won't be doing the necrophile though, because I noticed this shiny ship down here, Tucko's Cruiser Slot C. After a successful bound of gambling, Tucko became so rich that he was able to build a ship whose hull is made entirely out of gold. And he also has a gold flat gun. I wanted to try out the float, the gold flat gun. It's a modified flat gun that fires literal chunks of gold. <laughs> We also get a conservative beam, which uses no power, and gold plating, which is uh, rock plating with 15% chance of ignoring hull damage, and you can also take it apart in order to, or take your hull apart in order to get money, because our hull is made of gold. Though, we only have 15 health as seen here in our little list. Don't know how much I'm going to be ripping the hull apart, but uh, I do want to shoot people with gold. That seems really neat. So also, I gotta turn it back on the hard. And I think we're good to go. You hurry to the hangar, it's almost time to depart. What do we grab? We have Giles, Huts, and Ohm. Drones wouldn't help. Would one more human help? Uh, I don't know. We don't have any resources other than fuel. So resources could be helpful. I think we take the weapon, just in case. It's a missile launcher, which is useless. It's entirely useless, but okay. I guess we could, uh, that only sells for like 10 bucks, so it's not great. And we'll go up. Might as well check up. We do have 20 evasion to start with, thanks to all our guys and you know two wind engines. They've already destructed my shields. Oh, and they got, oh. Tucko, please. We're one. <laughs> what? It does one per room. We gotta, oh. Tucko, no. Tucko doesn't make it past the first jump. Tucko, no. Tucko doesn't make it past the first jump. Wait, convert, ah, uh, it only does one damage. Yeah, we're, we're, we're dead. Tucko, no. Tucko, no! Please. I just wanted to shoot my gold. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're not fixing that. Oh. Uh, see, when, when you gamble and get a million dollars, instead of buying a gold ship, put, put better armor on the ship, maybe? <laughs> we made it one jump. Oh my god. Okay, since uh, Tucko's cruiser didn't work out, I'm going to try out Prototype Cruiser Slot B. An early version of the Smuggler Cruiser before the paint had been applied. It's still hard to tell what faction originally made the ship, but that's not important. I want to try it out because it's got a neat little gun here and a magnetic arm, which is a modified scrap recovery arm, which is short range and only collects scrap as effectively as your own crew, but much faster. Useful for time sensitive situations, but not for regular situations. Increases scrap gain by 5%. Mr. Shelly, okay. For crew, a beam drone. So that is probably good. Let's go ahead and. Oh, resources. That's probably put four missiles. That could be useful at some point. Stun laser online. It does three shots, three damage, which theoretically. Right, no, no negative system damage. Yep, so it's gonna do one system damage as well. Let's see how this scrap recovery arm works out, or fake scrap recovery arm. Um, months of waiting. He's fallen. I fall into his trap. 
nothing here. Okay. And just auto... I guess we should auto-fire weapons. We don't have a recovery arm. And he also cannot do damage, so I don't have to worry about anything. His gun is floating, so he theoretically has a second gun. Actually, he probably definitely has a second gun. Yep, there's a missile launcher. <laughs> I knew it. I, I, I knew there would be a second gun just hiding off somewhere. Okay, I think we may have taken his stuff offline. Maybe? Depends on if that's a... I think it's a two missile launcher. Based on the fact that he had three power, and I know this is one. I'm gonna guess the missile launcher was a three. Then... I kind of keep thinking this is gonna do ion damage. It doesn't do that. It just stuns enemies. Then one... No, he's gonna go work on... Why are you gonna go pilot? There's so many things you could help repair. Maybe we're gonna go pilot. You might as well pilot. I'll have you two run and repair that. 17 scrap up to 25. Um, I'll leave it there. I don't, I don't know if we want to buy anything just yet. Okay, that's all good. A bunch of stress beacons. That's good. All right, we got um quarantine so send the ng to get some free stuff 10 more dollars what about this one ship run out of fuel stress beacon is active um there's a lot of things that are very similar to this so there's one this is like a station and um there's an ng or a drone smack on board and it blows up uh, there's one where there's a bunch of dead people inside. There's one where they're cannibals. One where there's an insane disease that, like, super rabies. It is possible to lose crew. No one's in there, and we also don't get any scrap for that. It doesn't make any sense we don't get any scrap. It's still a ship. Just blow the empty ship up. Um, auto ship protecting a auto station. Attack the guard, I guess? Do I get access to the station if I attack the guard? I mean, I can apparently... Yeah, you can engage the guard head on or take out the station easily. Yeah, I guess attack the guard? Sure. Engage the guard. He's got some weaponry. But this should do fine. We want to avoid that, though. There we go. Almost. Ah, <laughs> it took, it takes half a second. I didn't know it would do that. I don't say it was almost bad. I depowered in time. I did not depower it in time. I really thought I was gonna take it offline. I, I didn't think this would take uh, two, but it does. Done. Laser's almost back online. Probably work on piloting. I don't... I doubt it will run. It's protecting something, so I don't think it can run, but just in case. There we go. It doesn't matter if we shoot chills or not. It's going to take two volleys regardless. I mean, it could take one volley if I wanted to power up my drone, but I don't. I'm gonna keep that guy in the, uh, my back pocket, just in case. You never know when you may need 14 drone parts. There we go. 14 more scrap, up to 49. And... Maybe I'll play around this nebula for a while. Maybe. See how it goes. Nothing to do. Nothing to do at all. Enemies? Enemies. Look at that shit. That's ginormous. It's a bomber. It doesn't have bombs, though. Uh, they're deceitful. They're always deceitful. They do have 
that really doesn't help anything, because it's going to be blown up. All in on weapons. We got to... Depower that. Ah! Timing was just a little off. Just a little bit. He actually took off the uh, the laser there, huh? You know what? Uh, this this is a ship that's worthy of being uh, beam droned. Just because of how long it's gonna take to kill it. Specifically, the uh, the mind control I think is the uh, the issue I'm gonna have. Then I fear they were gonna try and escape. They seem like the kind to do that. There we go. 18 more dosh. He's still repairing. There's a store. It'll take four jumps to get back, but I think it's worth it. Nothing in storage still. Teleporter, cloaking, scrap recovery arm to go with my scrap recovery arm. Hmm. Anti-system laser, does no damage, only systems, it's very fast. Hmm. Does it take out shields? I assume no. I don't think things take out shields unless they do normal damage. Chain, charge gun. Shoots faster and shoots twice. Hmm. Now let's go with the anti-system. Anti-ion too. Yeah, let, let's go with it. Let's let's go all in. I think ion will help for beam drone. Do something on board. We nothing. So many empty beacons in sector one. There's the stores. It's just an angry little ship. Angry little ship that can't do much. Let's go ahead and uh, test out our, our stuff here. Does this do... No. You gotta do one normal damage to actually get through shields. But I can just lay into him, though. Th this is very nice. It, oh, <laughs> it does do damage, too. Okay, so now that the entire ship is offline, <laughs> let's go back to actually killing it. That That's an amazing little gun. If I can just keep uh, shields offline forever. Oh. I, th I think if my first volley goes in on shields, I think they're done for. Because my, my little gun is going to charge so fast. We're going to get down to like a 1.9, I'm going to guess, is the charge time. I don't know how much is the actual amount it goes down when you have a guy piloting it. It'd be 10%, then 15%, then 20%. So it would lose... What? 10% would be 0.25, so 20% would be 0.5. Alright, I think that's how math works. So, 0.5, so it's gonna charge every two seconds. Which is pretty good. It's almost Vulcan territory. Vulcan's like 1.2 when fully charged. Uh, yeah, there's nothing to do here. <laughs> Very disappointing. Dustbringer Domain and Civilian Core Worlds. Okay, so, I, I have been told that... I, I don't think there's a Dustbringer Homeworld. The, uh, the names are taken from a large list of different names and all smattered together when the level generates. And... Homeworlds now have a unique name, like Mantis Hive and another one that I have forgotten. <laughs> it's like a Zoltan Amalgamation or something. S Harmony, maybe? So, or is it NG Harmony? I think it may have been NG Harmony. That, that sounds right. So, we have to look out for things that sound like Homeworlds. Mantis Hive makes sense. Homeworld. Um... Maybe like Rock Cluster, perhaps? That kind of sounds homeworldy. Um, I. Slug C? <laughs> Maybe? Core worlds could be, but I don't, I don't think civilians can have homeworlds. Because that doesn't really make any sense. They're just civilians. But we're gonna go civilian core worlds anyway. 
just to try it out. See, civilian sector of the Federation promises to keep them safe, and the civilians have turned to establishing their own militia. Let's, uh, let's chat them up. What do you got? Hey, look at that. Missile launcher. I will never shake my head at the missile launcher again. <laughs> it's very helpful. Countered a refugee ship. We will hell them. It was a trap. Next thing to power up is definitely weapons. If he charges this, then uh, I think he's done for. Like all three. It's not going to do all three. Just had to make sure this doesn't hit shields, which it's not. It's going to hit nothing and nothing. So I am more or less covered here. And they're gonna they're gonna have one hell of a time repairing anything over there. I will boot up a beam drone because it's going to take forever. <laughs> uh, it's taking its sweet, sweet time killing him, so. I mean patience is a virtue, which I lack. <laughs> a little bit. 15 scrap. And another nine scrap. Check uh store? Store? No store. And power that up. Power that, there we go. So I think we've won the game now. I think that's all we need. <laughs> These two systems will do great. Um Yeah, we are going to do this for the potential of getting both scrap reward and mapping. Okay, we're just gonna get scrap. Okay, so next up on our list of things to do, one more shield layer. So I don't have to worry about, uh, like, single ion bursts anymore. Probably should have went on shields. Looks like I don't have to matter. Don't have to care. Shoot that. Still probably pretty good uh, evasion. Had two evasions. Still have to wait for the stun lancer to charge up though. See that that's that's gonna be an issue. We can get all their systems offline, but we're gonna have to wait. So if it, there's a uh, a bad thing like ASBs, that that's our downfall right now. But we have a beam drone to help speed things up, just in case. Come on, stun laser. I probably would trade out the Osiris because it does do normal damage. Never mind. Why did I think that only did system damage? That's the opposite. It only does normal damage, no system damage. 15 additional scrap if I can actually click the button. Sounds so much trouble there. As soon as you jump, um, okay, so it's the, the, I can, English. If English was a language I could speak, it's debugging. And we do have a human this time, so we'll listen to their problem. It's a malfunctioning mantis. Send our human crew over there, and he'll tell us his name is John. Well, he'll pop up at... No, it's Robert Smith. Why am I so stupid? It, it was John Smith. You know, that's, that's the default name, right? That's the fake name? Jane Doe, John... John Doe? No, it's John Doe is the unknown name. One day... <laughs> one day I'll get something right. He explains he's from a nearby human returned to his home, and he can fix up our engines, but uh, that's going to be real cheap. So we're actually just going to offer him a position. Welcome aboard, Smith. Your name is not John. Can I? Just just change that real quick. Don't worry, I was, I was actually right. His name is John Smith. Not that we'll ever see that. <laughs> okay, Smith. You get a workout, then... Uh, why? Why would I do this? Pilot, Slugman has to be pilot. Can't be mind controlled if he's pilot. Secondarily, I would like Slugman to also be weapons and engines. Actually, give me, give me four slugs and f four slugs, two engines, and two mantises. That's my crew. All my main systems will be good to go. I'll have two repair guys locked in the closet somewhere, and then two uh, fighters also locked in the closet. <laughs> Stores, but we don't have money. Nor is there anything I really want to buy. I guess I could sell the missile launcher. Auto enforcer with cloaking. Yeah, it's a refueling platform. I want to save it. Give me some sweet, sweet fuel, please. It seems as though you forgot to bring anything but beams. That's very unfortunate for you. Very fortunate for me.
I do... Uh, I kind of want to trade out the stun laser just because of how long it takes. Comparatively, it takes a long time to charge. We should put this here. If I can, there we go. And then this on piloting. The bad thing about this is we don't even get any like level ups besides the weapon guy. Weapon guy's my only level here. Can't dodge beams. Stun laser on weapons. And now we wait, <laughs> and we wait. What is the charge time on this? I, I have to look, because it's long. Very, very long. There we go. Eight scrap, 16 scrap, and no fuel, really. You give me a little fuel. 13 seconds. That still just feels so long. I don't know why, but it does. Uh, yeah, we're not paying any tolls. You're insane if you think we're paying tolls for anything. You need to go run an interference for a while. Just, uh, just dance. Should've, uh, should not have let that happen, but busy dancing over here. Okay, fight each other. So he, he gets two of those off by the time I get one stun laser off. Oh, that miss. That miss hurts. They can't do anything, but it still hurts me. Gotta take a while for them to repair all their stuff. We should probably turn that on. Come on. Finding each other, I will go ahead and fix that, and then fix that, and then fix that. And maybe fix that. Very helpful. Does this do crew damage, actually? No, it does no crew damage. It would have been a really, really good crew killer if it did. Trying to escape? What is this? You have made your point we are beaten. Take these and leave us to our shame. Frost laser? Tell me more. What? Cross laser one. The laser only fires one shot, but it stuns crew and locks the room that it hits. Twelve seconds. Uh, why? It's fine. I'll take that frost laser. Sixty-eight scrap. One more beacon before the store. Yellow ship at this beacon stars you. It's a slug elite. That is, that is definitely elite. I won't lie about that. Yeah, offer help. Um, return your health to tell you that we ran out of fuel. Yeah, sure. I, I got some extra. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, they are once grateful for your, or the slugs are for once grateful for your help and pay you. Okay. Turned out pretty well. Don't think that's gonna happen all the time, but <laughs> it worked out this time. Check storage, can't do anything. We can buy butter. Hmm. We may need butter. We don't really have any other food on board. <laughs> I'm not sure how nutritious butter is. Or Heinrich Asted? I don't... Asted? I, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Two A's? Crew teleporter mind control hacking. Don't really need any of that. I'll sell this. And... Hmm. No, that that's more important. I, I I think hat being able to not take damage is way more important than one more laser. Tech the slaver scum. Give me some gumpo, please. No last minute checkups. It does have the same charge time as uh, this. And power that up. You can't do any damage. Congratulations system. Oh, there we go. You know what? We can totally do a crew kill. We can 100% do a crew kill. How in the world are they going to fix the oxygen fast enough? It's not possible. 
literally everything will be offline forever. Probably take out piloting. No more weapons. No more shields. No engines, unfortunately. Or doors. You may have NGs, but uh, <laughs> they don't repair a thing in two seconds, unfortunately. For you, that is. It's very fortunate for me. I should keep the weapons online, probably. Just to level up my uh, dodge. And there, there goes that. Our dodge is very low. <laughs> I like how that guy's not even trying to repair the oxygen. He's just gonna sit in weapons. That's all he wants. Suppose we could have you man this instead. Crew kills, here we come. Ooh, they still have plenty of oxygen in their house, though. Oh! Oh, that's... That's right, that's weird, isn't it? I, I'm pretty sure... No, 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 maybe I'm insane. I want to say bullets cause, like, slight oxygen loss in a room? It, it could have been from the, the breach. But I, I want to say they, like, it feels like it sometimes. That could be me being crazy, though. <laughs> until, uh, until I've looked at the, the actual, you know, makings of this game, I'm not sure if I trust everything, I think. I feel as though at one point, like seven years ago, I thought that. I was like, oh, that's an interesting thing. Though I had nothing to back that up. Hey, everyone's down and I got Steven instead of Gumpo. One day we'll find something that relates to food. Find the burnt bodies, he was hiding in the wall. It's good enough for me, he can man doors. He'll be the, the, the wall that prevents doors from going down. I do have enough time for one more distress beacon. What do you got? It's out of fuel, board, investigate. Intruders on board. Okay, it's ghosts. Why is the intruders detected, like, right in the middle of my screen? <laughs> is it supposed to be there? That's some weird, uh... Isn't it, like, supposed to be up here? Why is it there? It's very odd. Maybe it, uh... Hmm. The game thought I was supposed to be over here, in which case it would make sense. Like, if there's a ship here, I'm here. Makes sense for the intruders to take to be here, but I wasn't there. No idea. 30 scrapped, though. Engines is probably next. Fight the rebel ship, yeah. Or look for him. You can board. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can definitely board. We haven't seen anything happen with our magical drone yet. Our, our scrap recovery arm. Wow, he is really tearing into that guy. And that's offline. Let's take the O2 offline. Okay, engines, I guess. That's probably more imperative. The other engine, or the uh, piloting. Sometimes called the other engine. And, uh, something I'm sure someone at some point has called piloting the other engine. And if not, I just said it. So in the future, when someone else references it, they could point to me. I'll just anti-system everything. Yeah, I probably still, still shouldn't do the uh, the weapons. That'll help drain oxygen. Should probably just help drain oxygen from the O2 room. I wonder what the chance is. One of the mods actually told you the chance. It'd be like 10% chance of a uh, breach. This mod does not do that. They are really dedicated to fixing those shields though. I don't know why. Got the med bay. Go ahead and just kill that guy. Who cares? Will you go try and fix the... No, you're gonna keep with the med bay. There's the hull breach. Now he's gonna go for weapons. <laughs> Dude, you don't got much oxygen on your ship. Should've just went for uh, <laughs> piloting and tried to leave. Now he's going all in on this room. He didn't make it. 18 scrap. And that was a pretty good sector too. Civilian region or pirate region. 
Let's go pirate because we have our choice of two nebula instead of one. Yep, that's gonna be an angry pirate. <laughs> angry, angry pilot or pirate. Will this will this help? Level two won't help. Level two, uh, drone there does not help. AKA, get up the beam drone. Come on, beam drone. We're actually gonna let the beam drone go for a while. Because uh, we, we need all three stun lasers to actually hit in order for anything to happen here. Okay, right there on... Why did I choose weapons? <laughs> I, in my brain, I was like, make sure to target shields so we can shoot them a whole bunch. And then I did exactly the opposite of that. Some real, real big brain moves right there. Okay, that's good. We really did need to take out that. Okay, everyone's fine. Go help repair that. Go do that. And yeah, we're just gonna kill them. <laughs> it's a bit too late to stop. 14 scrap. Um, see, this would be the perfect time for that scrap recovery arm to do something. It doesn't, though. I, I, it is giving me the 5% scrap. I just kind of assumed it would do something else. I'm not sure what else I expected to do. But something. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's leave. Do something aboard the ship. Sure, can't do anything. Distress and store. We'll try and swing around to that store. First, we'll start with the distress. Um, could be empty pirate ship, could be crystal ship, I think. Crystal ship, looky there. Um, not gonna go with the stasis chamber. <laughs> uh, let me know if this has changed. If it's just the vanilla quest, then I probably will never grab the stasis chamber, but if it has changed, in some way, like literally any way. Let me know and I'll, I'll do the stasis chamber. For now, we're just weapon and scrap. Why would I ever do stasis chamber? If it, it, it does give you the crystal sector, but it's so rare that it's not really worth it. <laughs> we did get a conservative ion, which is good. Because uh, as I know now, conservative means it doesn't need power. There's a store up there, but it's out of the way. I don't want to go to that store. I'd rather try and swing down to this one if possible. Missiles. Yeah, we need to take him. It doesn't have four-man teleporter. It's a little rough. I'm sure, it'll be fine. Serve of Ion. Why do they want in my O2 room? <laughs> You're in a perfectly good room, and they decide to go to O2. Speaking of which, I can probably flush them out of this room and lead them into the med bay. That's on fire. You're gonna go for doors? It's kind of rude. Uh, yes, let's let's stun laser. Let's <laughs> let's maybe uh, actually attack the enemy ship, maybe a little bit. Go ahead and vent that in space and you there. That's a miss. That's a beautiful miss. Still, we're not seeing anything. Taking that offline. No more uh, <laughs> weapons for you. Come on, conservative. It's a miss. Let's take out the. Uh, let's take out that. We do need to take out weapons. Thank you. Our weapons are offline at the moment. One day, we actually will take off uh, shields. Is that already fired on shields? <laughs> it, it shoots so fast. Okay, two guys up there. We'll send you two in. Turn you off. Another bout of boarding over there, or hull breach. I'll breach the oxygen. Hull, or not hull breach, but system, system attack, whatever this is called. Anti-system, anti-system laser something. All three of you run to the med bay. 
Everyone else is good. And you're not good. And he's trying to fix up oxygen. We should send this down there, maybe? We need to take off uh, engines, too. Oxygen's online again, so take oxygen out. Everyone's healed up. For better or worse. Everything is uh, still pretty oxygenated over there. May have to shoot the plant to death. They repair things pretty fast, but I shoot even faster. How are you? How is that already online? Take that oxygen offline already. There we go. Breach is that's that's the end of him. That reaches also the end of that. There's no way they're gonna be able to repair the uh They can repair the breach, but they can't repair piloting in time. Okay, we gotta wait for the conservative to come back online. It's gonna take a little bit. Teeny amount of time, but it's fine. Hull breach? I, I guess if we get multiple hull breaches, we could probably outpace his oxygen recovery. Probably. We are going to need a lot of them, though. Eh, three will do it. Thank you for staying in such a big room. Okay, he has wilted and died. And that's everyone else. 30 scrap. Beautiful. Oh, uh, we're, we're going to the store. We're, we're making bank here with all this money. See pirate, he shut down my engines, which uh, has done nothing actually. Don't know if you noticed, but uh, I'm I'm too poor to afford engines. I actually have a guy with a uh, squirt gun shooting out the back of the ship. I know it's a bit barbaric, but it's all we got. And yes, that is unfortunate that uh, they hit that. It's not the weapons though. Could have been weapons. Yeah, yeah, there's the weapons. <laughs> How did the, uh, the conservative... It's because this doesn't take power, that's right. My beautiful, beautiful weapons. Offline, forever. Take those shields down. Thank you. Can't turn beam, beam online, it's broken right now. Back into weapons, huh? Okay. I guess I'll shoot you at your weapons then. Okay, your weapons are offline, finally. That guy's kind of messed up back there. Back on shields. And we can't get a crew kill, there's only two of them on board. Actually, you could probably get a crew kill just from shooting them. But I'm not gonna risk that. Let's go ahead and take out oxygen and piloting shields and engines there we go <laughs> there's all your systems once once the crack is made you find that that seam in there and there's nothing they can do it's amazing really we're actually I think I think at this point we're gonna have a flagship that has every system broken and it'll have a million health still <laughs> But all the systems will be broken, and it'll be hilarious. Go ahead and do that and take him out. Oh, he's only got... No, no, he'll survive. I think a laser does 15 each. So, uh... We'll survive a volley. Or, well, he... He will survive the volley up until the point the ship explodes. Go fix the oxygen. It's not gonna help you, but you can try. Probably should fix my engines. Now <laughs> that I look at it. Take off their engines still. I just need like a breach bomb. Well, you don't need a breach bomb if you somehow manage to breach on the first shot. Four fuel, 25 scrap. The engines are finally back online. And a nice store to go to. I think we all we will also be able to hit that distress beacon, which is nice. Small ships, uh, check the storage, still nothing. Fire beam, mace beam, ion blast 2. 
life form scanner, emergency respirator, engine disabler. Uh, no, we don't want to use anything on that at the moment. Um, hmm. I'd shoot a lot faster, that's for sure. And Mace Beam. Mace Beam's probably actually great. It's, it's gonna do the damage that I, I desire in my heart. Also, Ion Blast Mark II would be pretty good. <laughs> oh, I can afford all of it is a thing. I shouldn't, but I can. This is very expensive. I need to shoot it once before I sell it. Let's buy it. Mace Beam has to be done. Repairs have to be done. That is only 30 scrap. <laughs> it, I, it took me a second, but I was like, wait a second. That's only 30 scrap. <laughs> I gotta buy that. So we will, uh. Hmm. I think we're gonna leave this right here as it is. I didn't level up my, my engines, which I kinda regret. We just need to get the plan. Lots of dollars to get into crazy weapons. I think right here. The Ion Blast tube, the Mace Beam, plus Anti-System, and maybe another Ion Blast would be amazing. Mace Beam's doing all the damage, and they're not being able to do anything with all the Ioning and the Anti-Systeming. I don't have to worry about missiles being shot down, or drones. I, it, it seems like a foolproof plan. There's no way this would go wrong. Q2, six hours later, and it all goes terribly wrong. <laughs>